This video is a continuation of our Nimbula Director video series. In this segment, we'll demonstrate Nimbula Director image lists and permission delegation. In our previous video segment on creating customers and launching virtual machines, we described a deployment scenario where a fictitious Acme Corporation wants to provide a private cloud to serve two of their internal customers, Acme Corporation employees that we'll call Acme and contractors hired by Acme that we'll call contractors. We'll assume that you've already created these two customers as illustrated in our previous video. The first internal customer called Acme is further divided into two groups with different functions, the Machine Images group, which we'll call Images, and the Application Development group, which we'll call Apps. The Images group's job is to maintain all machine images and image lists that will be used by the rest of Acme. The Apps group's job is to develop and deploy useful applications for Acme Corporation's use, including their contractors. The Apps group uses the Images group's machine images and image lists to speed up their development. Thus, the Apps group only needs to worry about their applications, knowing that the Images group is maintaining stable and secure images for them. George works for the Images group, and Mary works for the Apps group. We'll now go ahead and create the groups and users that we just described. Log in as Acme Administrator, and click on the User Management tab. Click on the Groups tab, and then Create Subgroup. Enter Acme Images as the group name. Enter Acme Images as the description. And click Save. Next, use the same method to create a group called Acme Apps. Before we create our users, we'll delegate permissions to the two groups we've just created rather than delegate permissions on the users, since users inherit permissions from their group. You can then delegate permissions to users by adding or removing them from groups when they are hired, leave the company, or change job functions. Select Acme Images and click the Permissions tab in the bottom pane. Click Advanced View and then click Edit. Select the checkboxes shown here in order to allow the Images group to view users and groups, as well as images and instances. Next, we'll allow the Images group to manage images and instances in order to create and maintain images and image lists for use by themselves and by others. This will also allow them to create and destroy VMs, which is a necessary part of developing and testing out new images. We'll delegate slightly different permissions to the Acme Apps group. These differ from the permissions we granted the Images group in two ways. The Apps group can only view and launch VMs from images and image lists, but not manage them. And the Apps group has permissions to view and run VMs on VEthernets with VDHCP servers. We'll use these advanced networking features in future demos. Now we'll create two users and add them to the right groups. If you recall, George works for the Images group and Mary works for the Apps group. Click the Users subtab under User Management and click Create User. Enter Acme George as the username, George as the full name, George's email address and password. Click Save. Now add George to the Images group by clicking the Groups tab. Click Edit and select Acme Images. Click Save. Repeat these steps for creating user Mary and add Mary to the Acme Apps group. We also want to give George access to public machine images, specifically an Ubuntu machine image that was included in Nimbula Director at install time. Add George to another group called Acme Public to enable this. George's job in the Images group is now to create and manage images and image lists. If you recall, an image list is a persistent list of images that can be used to keep track of different versions of a machine image. A machine image is a virtual machine template that you can launch into a running virtual machine instance. Log out and log in as Acme George.
Click on the Image Management tab and then the Image List sub-tab. Click Create Image List at the bottom. Enter Acme George Acme Ubuntu as the name. Enter an appropriate description for this group. Leave default as one since this is a new list and we're only going to add one machine image to this list at this time. Click Save. Next, we'll add a machine image to the image list. Click on Machine Images at the bottom. Then browse to Nimbula Public. Click Edit and select the Is Used box next to this image. Click Save. This image list now contains one image and we could launch the image list as is. But let's also add a newer version of the image to the image list. Browse to Acme George to add one of his images. Click Edit and select the Is Used box next to Ubuntu V2 image. Click Save. You'll also need to change the default to 2, which indicates you'll default to the second image you added when you launch the image list. George has now finished creating an image list with two images that can be used by users of Acme. We'll have Mary from the Apps Group create a launch plan using this image list. Log out and log in as Acme Mary. To verify that our group permissions were set properly, if you recall, Mary and everyone in the Apps Group are not permitted to create image lists. Let's see what happens when Mary tries to create one. As you can see, Mary is not authorized to create image lists. What Mary is permitted to do is create launch plans and launch instances. We'll have Mary launch a three-tier application consisting of two web servers and one database server from George's image list. Click on the Instance Management tab and then the Launch Instances sub-tab. Mary will select George's image list by browsing to Acme George and selecting the Acme Ubuntu image list. Enter Mary's web server number 1 as the label. Enter 2 as the image list entry since that is the latest image version in the image list. Leave number of instances as 1 and shape as small, then click Add to Plan. Now Mary will add the second web server. We'll leave everything the same except we'll change the label to Mary's web server number 2. Finally, Mary will add the database server by changing the label to Mary's DB server and the shape to medium. We can now launch this launch plan as is, but let's enable placement logic by placing web server number 1 on a different node than web server number 2 for high availability reasons. Click Launch This Plan. After the three VM instances enter the running state, we'll demonstrate the effect of shapes. The database server was launched as a medium shape with twice as much CPU as the web servers, which were launched as small shapes. Bring up two terminal windows and log into the newly launched database server and one of the web server VM instances by SSHing to their IP addresses. Issue a command in both terminal windows to observe their CPU info. The web server shows only processor 0. While the database server shows processors 0 and 1. Congratulations, you've successfully created two groups and two users, granted different group permissions to enable one group to create image lists for the other group to launch.